Welcome to Alaska. If you've ever been to Egypt before, you'll know that's how the locals greet you. Welcome to Alaska. But actually, we're in Hurghada. Hurghada is a resort town on the Red Sea coast of Egypt. The city is known for its warm weather, water sports, and nightlife. We stayed here for a month, and we want to show you a part of our experience. Before arriving to Hurghada, we spent one week in Luxor. Okay, it's time to go to Hurghada. It's four hour drive from Luxor to Hurghada, so we took a private taxi. The journey was beautiful. When we arrived to Hurghada, one of the first things we noticed were the unfinished buildings everywhere. We started to realize that we may not have done the proper research before booking our Airbnb. Where are we, babe? <laughs> Windows. The apartment was cute and affordable. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Do you remember that? MTV Cribs is here. Okay, so we have the kitchen, the patio, however the building is, sister hotel at the moment, so the view's not great. TV is huge. It's good. This is the weird thing. I mean, I don't, is this normal in some places? I think it might be right, but the toilet is in the shower. I think if you don't have enough space, that's what they do. There's a brand new building which is so weird. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't. <laughs> Smile and the whole world smiles with you. <laughs> Work hard, dream big. Work hard. The bedroom is my favourite one actually. It's so big, I might even work in here. You got little turtles. Turtles. Uh, fish, these came from the Red Sea though. Uh, real. Uh, some flip flops which is good because mine broke. So I can use those. Um, <laughs> no, I mean one is not straight, two is tacky as uh, I can't say the word. Um, and here you have another fine view of the workman. Do you remember the Diet Coke advert? Do you think it's going to be like that? I don't want you. Bit of entertainment for you, baby. <laughs> so the whole area is just one big, massive building site. Not the best decision we've ever made. This is a new building that's collapsed. So next time you see a holiday home that has three bedrooms and a swimming pool, just remember that underneath those walls, that's, that's what the brickwork looks like. And these places aren't built to last. Do you want to buy one? <laughs> After seeing it, no. But I mean, if it's super cheap and you buy it for like five years, as a rental home, it's fine. However, one bit of good news, in the distance behind me you can see the mountains, which look like a really good backdrop for some photos. So I think we're going to head there and do a photo shoot. The main reason why we came to Hurghada is the Red Sea. Which offers many different water activities, such as jet ski, parasailing, and snorkeling. During our time in the city, we took two boat tours. In general, these include lunch and activities such as snorkeling. First, we visited Dolphin House. Seeing dolphins in the natural habitat is always an amazing experience. But, in Hagada, we were able to jump in and swim alongside them too. Our second tour took us to Orange Bay Island, a little bit of the Maldives on the Red Sea. The white sun and the clear blue sea is a perfect backdrop for all your Instagram pictures. Today we're going to Alguna and we tell you what do we think about this place. Alguna is a modern resort town near Hurghada. There are three main areas in Alguna, Tamahana Square, a boutique marina and downtown. We came to Alguna to walk around downtown 
and, and to be honest it looks quite boring and empty i feel like it's very fake town doesn't feel like yes. real place but i don't know why is it because of corona we are walking on empty streets so it feels like a dollhouse i don't know uh, but it's a nice cut it's probably three times more expensive than anywhere else in egypt okay so the positive things about el guna uh, first of all it's very safe you have uh, lots of different restaurants different types you've also got some beach clubs as well but that's it yeah okay in summary el guna if you like culture you'll hate it if you like golf you'll love it the problem is el guna that you cannot take a taxi from there there are only two tuks inside so then you need to go to the gate and then you need to order uber so it's safe to say we weren't really very impressed with Alguna. We usually enjoy quiet places, but this was too quiet. Martin, do you feel lonely? Lonely. <laughs> I am so lonely. <laughs> but what about Hagada itself? We visited Sheraton Road, famous for shopping. That's a nice shop, but not really. It's very, very wow. Just be prepared for the constant sound of horns blowing as taxi drivers look for your attention. Most of the signs here in Hurghada are written in English, Russian, and Arabic. So I feel like home. And I feel like wherever we go, it's full of Russians. Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, Hurghada is not the most charming city. You can't help but feel that the investors left when things got tough, leaving the city in an ugly mess of unfinished resorts and buildings. If you're looking for places for a relaxing walk, we'd definitely recommend heading down to Hagada Promenade or the Marina. We decided we couldn't leave Hagada without experiencing an all-inclusive hotel. Hi, we just arrived in Raki Hotel. We are here for Valentine's Day weekend. We are super excited. We got our wristbands. All-inclusive? All-inclusive. Uh, usually we don't like all-inclusive hotels, but I think this one is going to be an exception. From what we saw online, it looks very nice and has good reviews. Beautiful decorations, some fruits, wine, roses and arguing with me too much, I turned him into a cat. Yes, Martin. <laughs> He's not happy.